Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo and Parkway RV Center. Y'all remember me, right? <laughs> um, well, guys, I've been on vacation for about a week at Walt Disney World and uh, got back, caught COVID. So I've been out for a few extra days going through quarantine and all that. So I'm back. Dropped in this afternoon for just maybe shoot a quick video, get, kind of get back in the swing of things and Figured I'd start out with a pretty easy one that we got in while I was on vacation. And um, today, let's look at, in case you couldn't tell by the title of the video, a 2018 Holiday Rambler Prodigy. This is a 24A. These are very, very rare little mini Class C motorhomes. Uh, same thing as a Fleetwood Pulse. You know, all the newer ones, the Fleetwoods and the Holiday Ramblers are sister brands. Now, they only built these things late 2018 through 2019. And y'all know what happened then was the pandemic. And one of the, and the reason they quit building them, they can't get the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis. Uh, in fact, these were one of the highest rated class C's of 2018 and 2019, according to some of the resources I read online. They're a little diesel powered Class C motorhome. This is a 24A, 25 feet long when you're driving, and about 27 feet long when you're set up because it's got a power rear slide out. Awesome, awesome machine, guys. We actually bought this from a for sale by owner. Couple had it, bought it brand spanking new, paid cash for it. And um, got it home, didn't get a chance to use it. One of them got. Uh, one of them got sick, got over all that, then COVID hit, and they were so scared to go anywhere, they let it set at home and uh, tried to sell it themselves, but they were worried about COVID and being around everybody. These folks were really paranoid. In fact, we had to do the deal. We picked it up. The drivers had, he had it pulled out of the driveway, and the driver had to leave everything on the porch and then walked to the motorhome to take off with the people didn't even want to even close to anybody so but it worked out guys we got it this thing's got 2,000 miles they never used it they never spent the night in it guys 2,000 miles and a lot of those miles was when they from, from the factory driving it to the original selling dealer and of course they, they're driving to the to the dealer to pick it up and drive it home 2,000 miles you're gonna save about 50 grand if you could even get one right now anything with a mercedes-benz sprinter chassis is on an 18 to 24 month waiting period to get because they can't get the chips to build these things this is a mercedes benz 3500 sprinter chassis does have the dually rear end so this is a, a full class c motor home it's got two slides beautiful condition i mean there's 5.2 hours on the 3.6 LP generator. It's got the Truma instant tankless hot water heater. So you've got virtually unlimited hot water as long as you got water uh, in your fresh water tank or you're um, running off your um, ah, shoot, guys. I've been out a week and a half. I, ah, and then this COVID kind of got me in a mush here. Then you got your um, I had, guys. What do you call that? Water from the uh, campground. Water supply hose. There you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you something. Oh, by the way, I am feeling better, guys. I promise. This, this second time I've had it, it, it gets a lot better the second time than the first time, or at least it did for me. But it's 188 horsepower, 3 liter V6 turbo diesel. Gets around 15, 16 miles a gallon. Great torque has a 5,000 pound tow capacity. You can see you got your side slide with awning topper. You've got your rear slide with an awning topper, 3.6 generator. I mean, this is as close to buying brand new as you'll ever find used for a whole lot, for one third the price. It, and, and you don't have to wait two years to get it either. Well built too. Holiday Rambler, great, well recognized name. You know, Holiday Rambler got started back in 1953. So this is a brand that's definitely got the right recognition. Well built too. Notice the cab over, no windows on the front. 
you've got the uh, cap, that, and this is pretty tall up here too. That goes all the way around, so you've got no straight edges. So that's that eliminates probably 80% of your leaks on a Class C, just doing that right there. Of course, very, very quiet diesel. I've got it running right now. Of course, Mercedes-Benz transmission, all that good stuff, independent suspension, uh, four-wheel stability control, got about eight airbags just in the passenger and driver's seat alone so very very uh a good drivable chassis you do have an outside tv still got the stickers on it got a bluetooth stereo power awning furnace truma water heater Good looking little motorhome, guys. All the way you're gonna get one any nicer and newer, spend about 50 grand or more and buy a brand new one if you could even get one. But like I said, it's about an 18 month to two year wait for any motorhome on a Sprinter chassis right now because of the chip shortage. And every month while that motorhome's on order, the price goes up every single month almost. So time you get it, it might be 30, 40 grand higher. Let's look inside. I hope y'all had a good week last week too. I had a blast except for the last part when I got this crap and me and my wife and my daughter, all three had it, but we're all pretty much recovered from it now. So as we step inside, got a small cab over a bed. Just call this a full size bed. Never been slept on, got the privacy curtain um front these are uh, leather front seats they both swivel for party seating they do have the little uh seats inserts that go in it so when you turn them around use them for recliners you've got uh, plenty of space got touch screen stereo nav system and backup camera and all that works great uh let's see here no check engine lights of course 2,132 miles, had about 16, 1,700 miles on it when we picked it up. So we drove it that far. Um, actually, probably had around 1,500 when we bought it. And like I said, they were the original owners, one owner. Um, never used, never spent the night on. This is just one of those deals that, you know, I, I, I keep my ears, I keep my eyes open and... Um, I keep ads on Google that we buy RVs, and this is one of those times that, the, that the, everything materialized perfectly. Heck, I'll probably never find another deal like this again. But, you know, it's a great opportunity for those of you who don't want to buy used, but you want to pay a used price, but you don't want to buy a used motorhome. This is it. 99.9. I mean, save a ton of money, guys. It's about 10 grand under current NADA retail with no added options with 2,100 miles. Deals like this is why we've been in business for 54 years. And I can say that now because we're now officially been in business 54 years, three generations. Deals just like this why people travel from all over the country. Guarantee you this motorhome at any other dealer in the country that and then trust me they don't have anything like this you little on rv trader there's not a single one of these on there uh, any year of either year model 18 or 19 and um but if they did have it, this thing would be 120 130 grand so uh it's a great opportunity like i said to you know i know it's technically used motor home but depends on how you look at it your perspective but Let's just say close to new for a used price. And this is your slide out right here. You do have a table booth. And y'all forgive me if my voice is hoarse. I'm sorry. Um, that's why I'm only going to do one video today. So do have a uh, power skylight with a power cover. You do have a 13,500 BTU ducted roof air unit. More than enough for this little area. Plus you've got your furnace and uh table booth makes a bed so you can actually sleep up to depends on how big of the people who staying with you uh one to two on this table booth one to two on the cab over two in the back so 
five minimum six or seven maximum depending on the size of the people i also forgot to mention that's a pretty expensive upgrade but those built-in shades in the windshield and they've never been used and they also have them on the windows too 5.2 hours on the generator does have the optional magnum inverter so you don't have to run the generator if you don't want to to power some small 110 appliances nice tall roof line that's what i like about these things guys a lot a lot taller roof interior wise than a lot of the fords and chevrolet class c motorhomes double basin sink you've got a double burner stove top I don't think a thing's been lit here. There, now we can say it's lit. <laughs> I'm sure it's been lit before when it was PDI'd originally, but they've never cooked on it. Microwave convection oven. We haven't cleaned it, guys. This is just how we got it in. There's no excuses for it. Does have the Norcold three-way RV refrigerator freezer, so this can actually run on propane electric or battery oh this is one of those new ones with the touch screen yeah i like that touch screen controller you can just thermostat all that good stuff right there um let's see what else we got here sorry if i'm a little bit rusty I do like this bathroom setup. It's a fully enclosed side bathroom, but you can get to it from two different ways. I guess if you're in the bedroom, you'd get to it from the other door, but from here, you've got this little corner door and you step in here. I mean, it's no huge bathroom, but this is a small motor home. You've got a um, neo-angle shower, skylight, and then a little sink over here. And you can also get to it from the bedroom with this side door, which also makes a privacy barrier. So that's a pretty good design right there. And then you got a large closet, which you don't get in most of all motorhomes right here. And these, of course, seats still on the plastic, little booster seats for when you fold them around. Got the uh, Wally satellite system for the roof system that works with that well, pretty neat rear bedroom because of the rear slide you've actually got a decent sized bedroom this is about as small of a class c as you're going to get that actually has a stationary queen island bed instead of a quarter bed quarter bath setup and this is a north south queen island bed of course, the downside to this is when this slide out is in, this you have this bed folds up in half. You can't use it going down the road. But it just takes a few seconds to put this room in and out, whether you're on shore power, generator power, or battery powered for boondocking. Television up here. So you got three TVs in this little motor home. Got a privacy curtain right here. There's your thermostat for your heat and air. Guys, I can't fault this motorhome at all. You know, usually I show you any defects I see. This thing's never been used. I mean, they just don't come any nicer than this in a used motorhome. It's like you invented a time machine, went back to 2018, bought a brand new 18 Prodigy, and then brought it forward to 2022. This is what you'd get. Ninety nine nine, hundred nine and change on NADA. No average retail. No added options. You can pull it up if you want to. I didn't. I didn't print it out or nothing. So I literally just came in for two or three hours just to kind of get back on my feet a little bit. And if I feel like it in the morning, I'll be back here for a full day and probably do a couple of videos. We had a lot of neat stuff come in too. I just seen this one and Dad told me the story about it and I said, Yeah, I got to put this on. Now, I know this may not be for everybody. It may be out of a lot of people's budget, but 
like I said, you can't buy new right now. This is the next closest thing and gonna save you about 40, 50 grand or more by the time you order a new one at the time it got built. I mean, right now you'd have to probably get a 2024 model if you wanted something like this brand new. Now Fleetwood and Holiday Rambler doesn't make this anymore, but there's other brands that do. But like I said, with the Mercedes chassis, which is what a lot of people want. If you if you ordered one today, you'd get it by 2024. And I'm talking mid-2024 more than likely. So if things ever get better, and there's no telling how much that would cost you by then. But this one's 99.9, haggle-free, firm, while it lasts. Like all of our used RVs, we do guarantee all the major things to work, which includes both slide outs, roof air, generator, and for it to run and drive like it's supposed to, as well as a refrigerator to get cold. Uh, I've been out here messing with it, guys, everything. I mean, you come check it out yourself, but I, you've got no worries. If you're interested in this motor home, call before coming to look, because somebody's probably going to get it pretty quick. 706-965-7929 because where are you going to find one to compare it to there's none on rv trader i can't even i found a couple on other websites but they were from two years ago so obviously they're long and they're marked sold so they're long gone so where are you going to find something like this only at parkway rv center right here in ringgold georgia so give us a call if you're interested 706-965-7929 I promise you the first person that looks at this thing that this is the floor plan for them and they can buy it, they will buy it in about 30 seconds after walking into it. I mean, there is, if I could smell, I could probably tell you there's probably no, it probably still smells new. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Keep in mind, we do have some great financing, long-term financing available with approved credit down payment if you're interested in that give one of my salespeople a call they can go over the latest information on that with you at 706-965-7929 and of course guys uh, we take trade-ins we have nationwide delivery available it's a dollar fifty a loaded mile one way and um Check out this little motor. This, this is a cool little motor home. I like this. Yeah, this is about the size of my personal motor home. And it's, of course, this is a little bit better laid out than mine. But um, this would be something. Th this is more laid out for like a couple to, or a small family to do local trips on or even take some long distance cross country trips on. And, um, yep. Yeah pretty nice and guys oh by the way i was on vacation at disney i did stop by fort wilderness and met some campers and uh actually um ran into some fan uh fans of mine at because i wore i wore uh, one of my parkway rv shirts to uh trails end uh restaurant there and actually met some of my fans uh that were down from ohio so that was kind of cool uh staying there in the in the campground so we didn't take the motor home. We stayed in a hotel, but I needed a break from RVs, but I couldn't help it, guys. It's in my blood. You know, I was down there about three or four days and then decided, hey, let's go over there and eat and go to a campground. And heck, we rode around the campground and ate. And Well, took the bus around the campground. You don't really ride around it there, but uh, worked out pretty good. So anyway, guys, I'm back. Hopefully my voice will get better in the next day or two uh come out visit with us be glad you did check out this motor home it's on our website parkwayrvcenter.com link in the video description below again call before coming to look we take trade-ins and we have financing available with approved credit and down payment we have no fees 99.9 is a price plus applicable sales tax that's it easy simple and done doesn't matter where you come from or how you pay for it that's the price and uh try to find one for less with two thousand miles good luck i couldn't so thank you so much for watching guys i really appreciate it and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful ring gold georgia oh by the way guys 
I told you it's been a, it's been a, it's been a week or two. Smash me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share on social media, subscribe to my YouTube channel RVs with Big Bo. And like I said, we actually got one or two more cla uh, Class Bs in, so we've got some really neat smaller motorhomes in. I uh, got some Class A diesels coming up. Um, like I said, I, 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 I rode around a lot and seen all kinds of new faces out here as far as inventory that came in while I was gone. So, um, so come check us out. Thank you again for watching and look forward to seeing you in beautiful Ringo, Georgia.